problem reads, in a hollow ball we pour water. So here's our ball, and we're pouring water inside. Right. Find the formula for volume V of the water as a function of height H measured from the base of the ball. Now this is actually a very difficult problem, not a high ticket item probably, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time producing it. I'll just explain it the best I can. So let's take our water out of there for now, and let's see what we mean. Mean height H measured from the base of the ball. So let's put our base, this is our horizontal down here, and we're measuring up with our height. And let's put in our center of our ball. And of course, the radius is some kind of R here. So that's the radius. So this is 2R. So H goes from 0 down here at the bottom to 2R at the top. Now the trouble is that it's a, it's a nice one formula at the end, but you have to work it in two parts. You have to work the bottom half and you have to work the top half. So we're going to start with the bottom half. That means H is going from 0 to R. And let's put in a volume element. So we're going to put in a volume element. And what we want to do is integrate these volume elements, sum them from, from h equal to 0 to h equal to h. Let's put in h down here. That's right up to there, h. So this distance here is r minus h. And then let's draw in our radius and our right triangle. So this is our right triangle, this is our radius, so it's r coming down here. So we have r, r minus h, and that will give us the radius of the cylinder. And so we have dv for this cylinder, and we can see its height is dh. The cylinder itself has a base with radius x, so we have pi x squared where we can see that r minus h squared plus x squared equals r squared. For the bottom half here, the volume would go from 0 to whatever height we're going, because we're looking for a function of height h, of pi, r, of pi x squared, x squared is r squared minus r minus h squared, dh. Like I said, we're using h as our variable of integration and h is our boundary. Now, if you multiply out this binomial, you will see that the r's cancel and we're left with equals pi 0 to h and we have, this is a minus, so that would be a plus 2r h and then this would be plus h squared, so minus h squared dh. And when we integrate, we get pi. This will be r h squared over 2, so the 2 is canceled. r h squared minus h cubed over 3. And when we substitute from 0 to h, we get that. So we'll just we'll write that so you know that we did it. So pi r h squared minus h cubed over 3 for the bottom half. Now we're going to look at the top half. And before we do that, let's see, let's use this formula to find V of the bottom half. So that's H equal to R. And when we substitute that into this, we get volume of the bottom half equals 2 thirds pi R cubed which makes sense. We know, we know that a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, so the bottom half is 2 thirds pi r cubed. Let's put in our volume element here, and we'll put in our triangle, but now we have to be a little bit careful. Let's call this capital H here. This distance here is H, 
So capital H is H minus R. So let's write that somewhere. Capital H is H minus R. So that's this side here is H minus R. This side here is still R. And what we have is that the volume equals the bottom half plus, now we have to be careful of our integral because we're going from this point here where h is equal to r to h. We still have pi x squared. Let's put our x in here, x like this. This is actually the hard part, the integral. The integral goes from r to h and then dh, that's the height of the cylinder, and where x is how much now? Where this is h squared, what did we say that was? h minus r squared plus x squared equals r squared. So this is 2 thirds pi r cubed, the bottom half. Now this is going to be the same integral because x is actually the same even though this is re reversed because when we squared it's the same. But we have to be very careful now that we had 0 to h here, now we have r to h here. So we have plus pi r h squared minus h cubed over 3, but now from r to h. So everywhere we have h we have to substitute first h and then r. So we have 2 thirds pi r cubed plus exactly what's here, pi r h squared minus h cubed over 3, and then minus this with r, r in place of h. But this works out really well, we'll see. So we have pi r cubed minus r cubed over 3. And what happens is this cancels with this, leaving us again with this part right here. So the formula is pi times rh squared minus one third h cubed for h between zero and two r. And notice that when h equals two r, we get the whole sphere, we get four thirds pi r cubed.